Yo, what's up guys? It's Ryan with Prestige Aquatics here with another awesome fish video. And Clint, what we got going today? We're unboxing a huge Seagrass Farms order today. We ordered all these fish and a lot of plants for the upcoming Evansville swap. Unfortunately, we just found out tonight that the swap has been canceled. So all the fish that you see in the video are for sale. You can get them at prestigeaquaticsfish.com. You can send us a message on our Instagram or our Facebook page. We'd love to connect you all to some of these fish. You ready to yeah, get into the box? Get into it. It's a big box today. Uh, huge order. We got a ton of plants. You'll see we got way more plants than normal. Man, that's unfortunate about Evansville. We were really looking forward to being there. That's just unfortunate, but like Clint said, all these fish are for sale and just check them out. Yeah, really unfortunate. Uh, can't express how disappointed we are that we're not going to get to go to Evansville. And, meet some awesome fish people but we're living in crazy times and uh, we just got to roll with it all right let's get right into it here's one uh, Ryan made a sale recently and uh, I'll let him see his brand new koi fish here we got a beautiful butterfly koi medium yeah, really so nice this butterfly koi is going out to Allison uh, thank you so much Allison, Thanks, for Allison. supporting our business and we really appreciate it I hope you enjoy this butterfly koi because we've really enjoyed having them. So. Yeah, it's been awesome to keep koi, uh, really inspiring us to get a koi pond. Yeah. All right, we got some awesome electric blue acaras. We got six of them, and they look like they're in great shape, right? Yeah. Wow, these are awesome. We've been having some good luck with these. Here. Yeah, we have. We had some breeding action going on recently. All right, got some checkerboard barbs. We got 12 of them. This is a new barb in the fish room. Uh, I've never kept these, but I'm looking forward to keeping them and watching their behavior. Love barbs, like every barb is pretty awesome. All right, here's one for Taylor. Uh, Taylor has been a really good customer lately. You know you're, who you are, Taylor. Got your long fin Senegalis Spicer here. And he's really little, but what a little stud he is. He's got some awesome finish. Okay, looks like all the fish are on top. We're gonna keep rolling. We've got six electric blue rams. These were our free fish in the order this time. And we already have some rams. Uh, maybe we can get them breeding or if you uh, want the whole group of six, reach out and we'll get you a really good deal. Okay, got some tetras rolling, Ryan. We've got 12 black neon tetras, some of my favorite tetras of all time. Where do you think these are going, Clint? Oh, I already know where they're going. Oh, uh, to be continued. To be continued. <laughs> so we've got four Salvini. These are also also for Taylor. He's into big cichlids like me, so uh, really, really like keeping his fish. He's got some other stuff in the fish room that's going out to him soon. Here's some we already have in the fish room. Uh, we got some more cherry barbs. These are a little bitty compared to the ones we have. Uh, these have been a big hit on our website and also at the swap, so looking forward to getting these fish to you. After that, we've got some tiger barbs, some more barbs coming your way here. Uh, just replenishing our stock of tiger barbs. We always keep some of these in stock and they're been a super popular fish for us. All right, here's one I got just for the fish room. This is just the fish for us. Um, of course, if you want them, he's for sale, but I uh, didn't really plan on selling them. This is a blue-eyed lemon bushy nose pleco, a really popular fish, and he's just got a great yellow color. Uh, really great colored fish. I was gonna put him in one of our display tanks here at Prestige Aquatics. Successful done the bag. Successful. All right, we've got some Denison barbs here, uh, or as sometimes they're known, roseline sharks. Uh, some of them look really good. One of them looks like it might be a little sickly, so uh, we're gonna definitely get some med medication going in the tank immediately with some general cure. All the fish we get here at Prestige Aquatics uh, from our wholesaler, we medicate. And before you would ever be uh, offered the chance to buy the fish, we'd make sure that it's uh, good and healthy for you. 
We only send out healthy fish here at Prestige Aquatics. All right, we've got a group of eight koi angels here. Uh, as you know, we've been keeping a few different groups of angels. Looking forward to getting these guys raised up and breeding. If you want the whole group, let me know. I'll make you a good deal. Okay, so I guess this is bag one. Oh no, this is all of them. We got 25 neon tetras here, and they're looking absolutely fabulous. Check them out, right? Looking forward to getting them yeah. in the tetra tank, getting yeah. them colored up. Yep, absolutely. These were my first fish I've ever kept in my entire life. Ryan started <laughs> PetSmart special <laughs> yeah, with the neon tetras. The hard way. <laughs> we keep them, and they've been really popular for us as well. Okay, we got some little higher end tetras here. We got some bleeding heart tetras. We got 12 of them. Uh, those are a little pricier and for good reason, they're absolutely stunning fish. Okay, we got some Bon Rio flame tetras. This is a really cool fish. They're washed out right now, but uh, awesome, awesome colors. And these are actually the orange Bon Rios. So. Uh, looking forward to what they look like when we get them in the bag, out of the bags into the tank. And I think that's it for the fish. All right, most of our order was plants this time. Uh, we're setting up a new plant nursery here at Prestige Aquatics and really excited about what is to come in the future. And I'm uh, going to start carrying more plants for you all. I'm going to carry a bigger selection so that you can get your plants as well as your fish here. Okay, so we were going to unbox all the plants on the video, but it was just going to take way too long because you can see we got a ton of aquarium plants and we're going to go into what we got. We have unbagged a few so that you can see. We're going to start at this end. We've uh, got some money wart, which I've never kept, but I heard it's a pretty cool plant and it looks absolutely fantastic. We've got some Monte Carlo, which is one of my favorite aquarium plants. Great little uh, foreground plant. Some water Sprite. Hopefully we can get this going in some mass quantities uh, and it can be like our moss is for us. Got some Amazon Sword, a staple of any planted aquarium. And you can just tell what great quality Amazon Sword these are. Uh, the leaves look fantastic. We've got some water wisteria, which is similar to water sprite. I actually prefer it a little bit more because of the broader leaf. Uh, we're gonna keep it in the pots for now, so it will maintain that broad leaf form. We've got some dwarf sag here, and we didn't get the best one out of the uh, bag to show you all, but this is just a great plant uh, for any mid-ground. Another one of my absolute favorites is this Baby Tears, and you can tell it's just in wonderful shape, growing everywhere. Here we have some awesome Baby Tears. It's one of my favorite aquarium plants, a really great foreground plant, and uh, carpets really well. If you can get it planted in the first place, it's a little bit difficult, but once you get it planted, it does really well. We've got some uh, small Crypt Undulata, and a little bitty, it's a great like foreground or mid-ground plant. Uh, really grows compact like that. It's pretty nice. We've got some Anubius Nana, uh, one of the another staple of the planted tank. Really good for beginners. As long as you can get the uh, water parameters right in your tank, you can keep this plant. We got one Crypt Spiralis. I ordered a bunch of them, but only one was in stock, I suppose. And then we've got this awesome flame moss over here, cut portions. And we got one banana plant for a special customer. Guys, let us know in the comments down below what your favorite fish and plants are from this video. We'd really love to hear. Now we're gonna do an overview of all the fish we got. A really good haul here. Uh, we've already seen what we got, but uh, gonna just take a look at every bag. If we come down here, we'll start with the tetras. These are some bleeding heart tetras, a really nice fish, uh, ready to get out of the bag, you can tell, but they're super active. That's a sign I love to see. Got some ember tetras. We're keeping a bunch of these now. They're really washed out, but I know that their ember tetras are world class. We have some black neon tetras here. One of my favorite tetras, uh, also washed out, but I know that everything's gonna start coloring out pretty quick. These are some Bon Rio flame tetras. I've never kept this tetra, but the picture looked really cool. We'll see how they turn out. Got these neon tetras. Uh, we got 25 of them. Absolutely amazing fish. 
even though they're so popular, uh, there's a reason why. Then we're gonna get into some barbs. We've got some cherry barbs. Already keeping a bunch of cherry barbs, just adding these to our collection. We've got some checkerboard barbs, which I have not kept. I've heard they're a really good community fish, not quite as aggressive as other barbs. Adding some tiger barbs, and we also got some denison barbs this time. These are a little more pricey, only got six of them. Hopefully we can connect these to y'all. We have some electric blue rams. These were our free fish for the order. Already keeping some rams and uh, hopefully we can either get these breeding or sell these as a group. Has some koi tetra, koi uh, angelfish here. Really nice angels, uh, hoping they color up a little bit more. I think they will, they're just a little freaked out. Got some electric blue acaras, you can barely see them, but uh, you can see them once they move like that. Awesome fish, we have had some success with ours lately with some breeding. More on that in a future video. We have these Salvini, these are for Taylor, and I've always loved Salvini, but never really been able to successfully keep them. They're really aggressive for their size, and so I really feel like they do better with bigger cichlids, but they are just a little smaller. And this is also for Taylor, this is the Long Fin Senegalis Bicher. Never seen a long fin, but his fins are absolutely outrageous. And then a couple more, we have this blue-eyed lemon bushy nose, and he's just for us, like I said before. And we've got Allison's koi, and what an amazing koi it is. It's really coloring up now and showing some great color. Gonna get him in the tank with her other koi, and uh, looking forward to seeing him in a tank. There you have it guys, that is the latest unboxing. Thanks for coming along all the way to the end. If you enjoyed this video, which we know you did if you made it to the end of the video, go ahead, like the video, subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next video. We have awesome fish and we upload awesome fish content all the time. As always, we'll see you next time.